Howdy folks, this is Tony here, and in today's video, I'm going to explain to you why the alt-right is alt-wrong. Now, the alt-right is a political movement that has gotten uh, national attention in the last few years, and the basic belief of the alt-right is that our nation was founded by and for white men, and that if you are not a white man, you are a second-class citizen. And they go further to state that they believe that all nations except for white nations are a bunch of dumb savages in desperate need of the white man's correction. So their belief system basically has five core tenets, and I'm going to explain why each of these is garbage and why they are not correct. So let's get started. The core of their argument, their first main argument, is that America's founding was by and for white men. Now, obviously, I, as a Native American, feel the need to take a pop shot at this and say we were here first. But that's beside the point. If you actually do your research and look at your history, you will find that America was not founded by white men. It was founded by Englishmen. There is a difference because back in those days, the Irish, though their skin was white, they did not have a place at the table. A lot of them were kept as indentured servants, some even as slaves. And back then the Irish were regarded as being drunkards that are less intelligent and more prone to violence. A lot of the stereotypes that people nowadays would apply to a black neighborhood, those stereotypes back then applied to the Irish. So this idea that anybody that's any kind of white is part of America's founding is false. The Italians did not have a place at the table, nor did the Greeks. America was founded by and for Anglo-Saxons. The word Anglo comes from the word England, as well as the Germanic Anglian region, but that's a whole nother discussion. But the point is, if you really are to be consistent with your alt-right logic, then if you have a drop of anything in your blood that is other than British, then you should consider yourself a second place citizen. Because back in those days, they did not have this unified idea of whiteness. People defined themselves by what family they came from and what nation they came from. The Greek saw himself as something other than the Italian. The Italian saw himself as something other than the Irishman. They did not come all together and say, oh, we're white. That is a false narrative. That is a fiction. In fact, if you look at some of the legislation passed, like the National Firearms Act, wasn't that designed as discriminatory against Italian immigrants because the Italians were stereotyped as violent immigrant invaders of our land? A stereotype that in today's world applies to people of Hispanic origin? So you need to get your facts straight and really understand that this whole idea of whiteness is actually false. They were defined by their nations, not their skin color.